Hello everybody, Diana here at Build a Quilt. Welcome to my channel. This video is kind of a short, it's one of our quick quilt minis. It's between that sweet spot of five and 10 minutes. It's not a big long video and it's not one of the shorts which are now three minutes and less, which I love. So I've got some shorts coming for you guys that are gonna be in that one to three minute range, which is um, gives allows me to give you a little bit extra info um, but not quite as much as one of these. So welcome into Build a Quilt. And this video is all about batting. Again, it's October and we've been talking about batting this month. We had a big live a couple of weeks ago that was all about batting. What kind? When to use it? How to use it? When to choose it? How to choose it? All that kind of stuff. How it gets made? All of that. And then there is a pre-recorded video that was all about batting um, that is bamboo. Cause I told you in the live bamboo batting is my all time favorite. And so I got a lot of questions about it and there is a pre-recorded video on that. It's not as long as the live, which our lives on Wednesday night at 6 PM central standard time are always about an hour. Sometimes we go a couple minutes over, but I try to check with you guys first to see if that's something that you want to do if you want to go over if you don't want to go over we know go over so anyway um so join us wednesday night because um this wednesday night every wednesday night at 6 p.m central standard time here at build a quilt but the other uh batting that i talked to you about or one of the others was blends right there's uh, cotton wool blends, wool poly blends, cotton poly blends, bamboo silk blend. I mean, all kinds of blends. And when you do a blend, you tend to get the best of both worlds if it's because it's typically two types of fiber. Um, sometimes with bamboo, like we talked about in the bamboo video, it can be multiple fibers that all tend when you look at them all together, you're like, oh yeah, these all work together. So, um, this week, in this little video, I have another one to talk to you about. I told you last time that there is a batting that is an 85% cotton, 15% polyester. It's kind of a mid loft. So it's that perfect, I think it's that perfect loft for a bed quilt. I don't like overly lofty bed quilts and I don't like really thin bed quilts. It's just right there in that sweet spot. And the one I shared with you was actually by Kimber Bell. You can see it here. She calls it project batting. And the problem I have with this is not with the product. It's with the size of the product. It's 19 inches wide by three yards. Well, I love the three yard idea, but 19 inches is not wide enough to do a full quilt. It's not even wide enough to do a throw quilt. So I have basically saved my project batting for smaller wall quilts that are like less than 19 inches um, or small embroidered projects that have batting in them, that sort of thing. But I love this batting. It's super soft. If I had to pick a non bomb, a non bamboo batting that really worked in a similar way, I would choose this 8515 blend. It's just super nice. It's got a little bit of a, it's needle punched. That's how it's created. We talked about that in our big batting video or in our big batting live video. And it's got a scrim in it. And we know now that scrim is what helps hold all the fibers together. And when it's being needle punched like this with all the little needles in it, the scrim helps hold all those little fibers together. You get less fluff coming off of your batting, that sort of thing. And I just love this. It's really hard to tell with a lot of these battings that they look. It's it's in the feel. It's in how they the hand lays, how they drape, that sort of thing. But this one, I, I just adore it. And I have I've begged Kim from Kimberbell to please create it so that we can buy it by the yard at a regular batting width. No can do so far. Makes me very sad. But as you guys know, I don't let that, I don't let no stop me necessarily. 
So I've been digging around for quite a while now, actually. I have been trying to find an 8515 cotton poly blend. And I found one. And it just came in the mail this weekend. I ordered one yard. Now, a yard of it is 96 inches wide. So that's great for throws and twins and things like that. You can really get, um, you know, this is for those bigger quilts. Um, and I ordered a yard of it, but it's, it, like I said, it's 96 wide. That's why it looks so big, this piece. But it is an 85 15 cotton poly blend. I'm just so thrilled about it. And when I got it out of the box, I wasn't, it, it's made with a scrim, just like um, the project batting. I was hoping when I ordered it, that it would be this batting, it, but just that you could buy it. And I don't know if they come from the same mill or not. I, I haven't been able to find that out yet, but I'm on the hunt for that information. I'll tell you in a minute. Um, but the batting itself feels just like this Kimberbell project batting and I can buy it in big quantities. I can either buy it by the yard or the company that makes it also sells it in pre-cut packages for the size that you need for your quilt. You need a king size, you buy a king size batting, right? That type of thing. Um, and I love it. It looks the same. Um, the one side of it, the needle punch side with the scrim, sorry. Um, I'm just getting tons of phone calls right now. It's that time every four years where you get lots of phone calls. You know what I mean? Um, and um, I, I love it. It came and I took it out of the package. And when it first arrived, I didn't realize that's what it was. I'm like, I don't know what this is. And then I took it out of the package and I was thrilled. I was so happy. So the name of this is Color Me Cotton. It's called Color Me Cotton Blend, and it is an 8515 blend. That's what you should ask for when you ask for this batting. And I'm recommending it for the Build-A-Quilters year-end quilt. This is what I'm going to use for our year-end quilt. Now, you can use any batting you like. We've talked about that. But if you're looking for a good well-priced, good quality, love how it works batting, this one is what I will suggest to you. Color Me Cotton Blend 8515. Um, it's by a company called Air Light, A-I-R-L-I-T-E. Um, and I will let you know that I am in touch with this company. I have not heard back from them yet because I just sent them a message today, but I'm in touch with them to see if, um, I, sometimes when I was looking for this, it would say cotton, cotton blend, cotton poly blend, color me cotton poly blend, but it wouldn't tell me this 1815 scenario. So I'm in touch with the company to make sure they don't have another blend because typically cotton poly blends or blends are an 80-20. And 20% to me is too much polyester. I, I, it takes away from how I like my quilts to feel. But the 15% is beautiful, soft and drapey. Um, so I'm in touch with them to make sure that there's no other blend that they create under this name that would confuse us, where we would get the wrong product. And I'm talking with them about carrying it in the shop starting in the new year sometime. Don't know when that'll be, don't know what that'll be yet, but I am talking to them. That's how much I enjoy using this particular batting, okay? So Color Me Cotton Blend 8515 by Airlight. That's what you can look for. Now, hopefully by Wednesday night's workshop, I'll have more information and we can talk about it some more, but this is what I'll be using for the year-end quilt. So if you're starting to gather in your supplies and all, I know the pattern hasn't fully come out yet, but if you're thinking about getting a batting for it and stuff like that, then this is the one I'm going to suggest for us to use. I think you'll love it. If you've never used it before, I think you'll really love it. It's more cotton, less poly, but it breathes better than 100% cotton. It doesn't hold in, it's not as hot. Um, it drapes better 
all that kind of thing. All right, everybody. So if you like this one and you want bigger pieces, then this is this is the this is the batting that I've found that is the best comparison to the Kimberbell Project batting. Okay. All right, everybody. Thank you so much for joining us for this quick quilt mini video. If you need to contact me, you certainly can do so at support at sewincommon.com. I'll get back with you as soon as possible, typically the same day, or I'll at least acknowledge and tell you, you know, it might be a day because I have to look something up for you or something like that. But as soon as possible in the evenings, um, you get a standard reply because I'm usually with the family at that point. Um, and then if you want to look at our patterns, our free patterns and our for purchase patterns, if you want to read the blog, you can do that over at the website, www.mybuildaquilt.com. Thank you all for joining me. And again, please um, come be with us Wednesday night at 6 p.m. Central Standard Time for Wednesday Workshop Live. And until then, everybody, Go quilt life beautiful. Bye for now.